I had an idea recently. Contact three of my friends, give each of them two random characters, and then get them to write romantic fanfic of those two. Uh, then read the abominations they made in front of a green screen. I dub this Fanfic Roulette. Oh, and these are my raw reactions, so I'm the first one to read these pieces of art. And because I'm recording this, you will get to share my suffering. Oh, and shit gets lewd pretty quickly, just putting a warning on there. So our first fanfic comes from a guy who I'm just going to refer to as Chef, and his two characters were Minessa from My Hero Academia, and himself. I mean, props for trying. Also, may I add, halfway through the week he contacted me saying, does it just have to be us, or can we include people on the train? I I'm interested in this shit already. It's 3.30 and we're late for our date. We're on the train and Minetta needs the pee. She, chef, I need to go. You can't daddy the train has <laughs> Fuck me. You can't daddy, the train has stopped. The air is hot, steamy, <laughs> sexual, what the fuck? I need to go somewhere, Minetta exclaims. I turn around, checking the place is empty. Use me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck, I, I hope to God I put a warning on this. <clears throat> Minetta looks at me with those eyes. The eyes Otaku has under his glasses for Asui. <gasps> okay, now, now I'm canon in this universe. This is what my life has been leading to. Oh, fuck. Also, he knows about the eyes, but um, he also spelt Asui wrong. He spelt it um, A-S-U-Y-I. I'm deducting points. You better keep a note of that. He wets out his 17-inch purple dick and pisses into my... <laughs> oh, fuck. Now exposed anus. I take it all in. As we continue to fuck, we hear a noise from outside. <laughs> Plus ultra all white scream. <laughs> oh, God. All white scream of pleasure signified his massive <laughs> load busting open the doors. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's okay, boys. All Might is here. His teeth gleam in his <laughs> bulging 24-inch dick. <laughs> it extends and touches my nose. Plus ultra indeed, I say. I, I believe uh, there's a quote from Steins Gates that describes this situation right now, and it's... There is no next fanfic comes to us from a guy who I am to refer to as Massive Legend. His characters were Nina Tucker from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Thanos from the YouTube Thumbnails 2018. Let's give it a read, shall we? Oh, and by the way, this isn't a live reaction, because I, I tried doing a live reaction. I couldn't get all the way through. <laughs> Set a new age was signaled for the galaxy. Thanos sat in his chair, his schlong hung proudly between his legs. It's cold, he told himself. It looked better after he fucked a sun. His hand crept down and began to vigorously massage his taint, which was smooth as the slope to hell. Very nice metaphor. I hope you get good grades in English, massive legend. Unfortunately, one finger slipped into the great stink. When he retrieved it, his hand moved past his <laughs> missing testicle. It lasted. <laughs> After a passionate night with Dumbledore. He didn't capitalise the name Dumbledore. Forget your English grade, it's probably shit. Suddenly, a little girl appeared before him. <laughs> this triggered his PTSD for when he had to kill Gamora. He had hoped to get in on some of that action. Who are you? he questioned. I'm gay, she responded. <laughs> Thanos frowned. His church did not look kindly on homo, sh homo Shrek shorts. Oh, by the way, he, he spelt that perfectly, and uh, his English grade is amazing. Can I tell you about our Lord and Savior, <laughs> Louis Fonzie? He didn't capitalize the Fonzie. He, you, you're... Oh my god, he's establishing a sense of balance within his good and bad grammar. Shit, this, this has layers to it. No, but you can tell me what the hell happened to my dog, she responded while playing with her hair. That was the, the answer would provoke her, and upon seeing her sturdy build... Oh my... It's like six. Ew. Why, why is... I, I'm an anime fan. This, this shouldn't disturb me. I believe the president of Eurogate is little brother Aitim, he said cautiously. 
Take me to them, you yeet. <laughs> you yeezy chin freak. I shall tear out your... I shall tear out your prostate, she commanded. Thanos, love of... Lover? Lubed? It should be lubed. Up his hand, he carefully slipped the Infinity Gauntlet on. Its power made him tingle all over. <laughs> and it nearly gave him a big bed. With a wave of his hand in the sapphire fingers, they were both sent to Nigeria. <laughs> where there was a ring where um, President Furigay's younger brother was there. He screamed, but it was too late. Nina grabbed her <laughs> his many testicles and <laughs> with a cackle. <laughs> Torn oh my god! No more Japanese porn for you, she said with a smile. Oh, I think he was trying to make a statement to me with that line. She then grabbed his head and slowly tore a hole in it. Carlos looked at the hole and decided he had time for, he had time for a quickie. Need a vape. <laughs> and listen to her icy narcos. She had waited for Thanos to eat. What? After finishing beating his meat, they hit the, they hit the street and found the president balls deep in a bu biracial punch and the goat. Please, though, I will give you suck, I will, he pleaded. Uh, what? I will give you suck from Jesus Christ, mocked Thanos. And Thanos here isn't spelled with a capital. Fuck you, massive legend. He had expected that to kill him. His frequent work behind the space Tesco's had loosened his brain. <laughs> oh, God. God, I am, I am not going to Tesco's any time soon. Oh, God. At least it is throat muscles. The president then threw up acid onto the onto Thanos, blinding him. <laughs> Nina then jumped into action. And doosing. And using. No, your, your grammar is shit. <clears throat> and using alchemy turned the president's eyes into Hillary Clinton. No, he screamed as he turned to dusk. Help, I'm blind, exclaimed Thanos. <laughs> oh, like the cripple. What? What? <laughs> Like the cripple I used to bully, Nina replied. But don't worry, I'll be in your eyes. Some say they still walk the universe together. Others say they started a <laughs> they started an ethno state. <laughs> but we all know they'll make the universe great again. <laughs> enough is enough. Oh wait, I've got one more. The final person I contacted, I'm just going to refer to as Friend A, because we all know an April reference. He's actually appeared on this channel before, and you may recognise him from this dignifying footage. If you don't give me some Asian content to kill my crippling depression right now, I would go to that grass. I will nail you to a cross and burn you. Now, he did two different draws. His first draw, he got Nina Tucker and Gordon Ramsay, and he instructed me to make this. <laughs> It's now, his second draw, he got Emperor Palpatine and Ali A. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to read that fanfic he made for three reasons. One, I haven't got it. I'm not even sure he's even written it yet. Two, I don't think I'm mentally prepared to read another fanfic, especially one between Emperor Palpatine and Ali A. And three, National Poetry Day is coming up, and just like last year, I plan to celebrate it. So, I'm going to see if I can play another round of fanfic roulette if this video gets popular. Except this time, the submissions I get, I will then adapt into poetry. Because this video has taught me something. Outsourcing your work is fun.